Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Today I'm going to illustrate a problem on how you figure out the cost of a job for a service-based company. So on the screen you'll see a problem. Um, this is for a legal firm. Okay, so JWI Legal assists clients in business formations and consolidations and other business matters. The firm considers each project for a client to be a job. The firm estimated the following information at the beginning of the year. Okay, so these are all estimated costs. The firm also passes on direct costs for travel and filing fees to each client. The firm wants to make a profit of 30% on each job, and information on two jobs is provided. So one client is ABC, <coughs> the other client is XYZ, and they tell us that we have 125 labor hours on this job for ABC plus 490 in travel costs and 530 in filing fees and then XYZ 30 hours 85 for travel and 75 for filing fees. So there are two things that we need to do before we can start tackling the numbers for ABC and XYZ. The first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out what is the labor cost per hour for this firm. So in order to do that, to figure out the labor cost, we need to take total estimated labor Okay, so we're going to do total labor divided by total hours. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to do 700,000 divided by 8,000 hours. And that equals $87.50 per hour. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the first part. Now, we need to figure out, we need to cover all these costs as well. Okay, so the problem is if we just bill for our labor, then we'll recoup the cost of the labor, but we won't recoup the cost of the support salaries, the office rent, and the office supplies and software. So we need to make sure that we also come up with a rate for these items as well. So if we add up the, the support salaries, the office rent, and the office supplies and software, we get 92000 even. Okay, so now we need to calculate a rate for that as well. That's going to be total cost. divided by total hours. So it's going to be 92,000 divided by 8,000 hours and that gives us a rate of $11.50 per hour. Okay, so now we have our two rates. We have our labor rate and we have our indirect cost rate. Okay, because these are all indirect costs. So now we can use those two rates and apply them to our jobs. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll put down here, we'll say ABC and XYZ. Okay. So let's put, let's do travel first and fees. Okay, so travel for ABC is 490 and fees are 530. For XYZ we've got 85 and 75. So now let's add labor and indirect costs. Okay. <coughs> Now let's figure this out. So we've got 
125 hours times 8750. Okay, so if we do here, we'll do this over here. 8750 times 125, and that equals 10,937 and 50 cents. Okay, so total labor cost, 10,937.50. Okay, our indirect costs are going to be 1150 per hour times 125 hours. So let's see. So 1150 times 125. And if you do the math out for that, that's $1,437.50. So $1,437.50. Okay, so if we add up all our costs, total cost of that job is $13,395 even. Okay, so now let's go back and do XYZ. So XYZ, we had 30 hours, and to get the labor, we'll do times 8750. That equals $2,625. So my labor cost is $2,625. Do the same thing again, 30 hours times 1150 for the indirect costs and that is $345. 345. So total cost for XYZ is $3,130 if you add everything up. Okay. Now that's cost. That's not what we're going to charge the client because if this is what we charge our clients, we're not going to make any money. Right? And so if we want to make profit, this says here that we want to earn a profit of 30% on each job. Okay, so if we want our profit to be 30%, okay, that means our cost would be 70%. So if this is 70% of the total price of the job, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the cost of the job, 13395, divided by 0.7. Zero. So if we divide by, if we divide by seventy percent, okay, we'll get a larger number, and that'll be our price. Okay. So if we do the math here, we get. I'll write it over here so I have room. Nineteen thousand one hundred thirty-five dollars and seventy-one cents. Okay. So that would be the price of the job for ABC. If I do that for XYZ's job, I get 3130 divided by 0 0.70, and that gives me $4,471.40. Okay, so I would charge ABC $19,135.71. Our cost is $13,395, so if you go through and you do the math, calculate the gross profit on the job, you would see that the gross profit would be 30% of the 19000 For XYZ, we would bill XYZ $4,471.40, and the cost of the job is $3,130.